What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're going to be showing you how to make your kill feed glow. This is something that a lot of editors use, you've seen it before, time and time again. Uh, the point is, is that when you have a dark CC or anything, you want to emphasize the quad feed better. So you go ahead, you slap on a glow effect onto your uh, kill feed. Now you've probably seen tutorials before on After Effects from people like Baker and all that shit. Uh, all of them show you how to mask. Now, unfortunately, you cannot mask in Final Cut Pro. So for all of us Final Cut Pro editors, we have our own method to do this. What we do is we go to Call of Duty Wiki. And this is actually a lot easier than masking, believe it or not. And it is still very hard. Uh, not hard, but it does take a bit of time. Uh, so you're going to Call of Duty Wiki. You're going to type in DSR50. That's the sniper we're going to be using in the clip. And you can go ahead and download the HUD icon right here. Uh, you can use, you can get any gun in here. You can get the ballista. You can even get some stupid ass pistol. All of them are in here. And from here, you just go down. And you go. Hey, here's the HUD icon. Simple as that. And once you have it downloaded, you're gonna go ahead to your downloads. You're gonna open it up uh, just by clicking on it. It'll open up preview. Now, here's the problem with this icon. This icon looks beautiful, uh, but here's the problem with it. I don't know if you know this, but the HUD is usually has the gun facing the other way. I don't know why they do this, but there's a very simple fix to it. Instead of importing it straight into Final Cut, just take the icon in Preview, go to, I believe it's Tools, and you flip horizontally. Bam! Look at that. Just flips it around. And you can just go ahead, hit Export, and I would keep it as a PNG. Do not change that. That's important. And hit Desktop, and just type in DSR 50 Gun Symbol. And you could save that into your editing folder. Uh, everyone has an editing folder, hopefully. If you're an editor, you want to have all your effects in a folder, all your editing packs, which I do have one of those. And you're going to save that to the desktop. Uh, my editing pack actually has the gun symbols for a lot of uh, games, but not for Black Ops 2 since it's a new game. So you're going to go ahead and find that uh, thing you just saved. You're going to import it, and there it is, looking very nice. Um, and you're going to go ahead and find a clip. Uh, we'll just use one of Do's Oz clips again. Uh, Duzak clip right here has a DSR, so we'll use this. And you can see I'm already zoomed in because I've actually tried to do this tutorial a few times now, and I had a few errors. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to find a spot where the quad feed pops up, like right there. And you want to look for where the feed freezes, so you don't have to do too much uh, uh, quote unquote motion tracking. So it kind of it slows down there and it just sits still. So we're going to take the uh, clip by hitting blade tool. Hopefully you guys know how to do this. Blade tool to cut the clip out. And we select the clip and hit command R. So now we can go slow motion. And you're going to reduce the volume obviously of all of this because you don't want to have a bunch of loud ass music and shit in the background. And you're going to go ahead and hit video quality, optical flow. Um, that's going to take up a lot of my processor speed but who cares. I hope it doesn't slow it down too much. And what you're going to do with this clip right here is you'll notice the feed actually fades here, which is why it's actually even better uh, to do the glowing feed is when uh, it starts to fade. And you're going to take these gun symbols, you're going to drag them down, and have them fit perfectly to that slow motion portion. One by one by one. And you have four of them, obviously. If you have five kills in the feed, uh, like say someone gets a five-man feed and it looks like you can still see all five kills. That's another good spot to do glowing, so that's also an option. Uh, get the blade tool by hitting B, and just cut all these down so they fit perfectly into the mold of the slow mode part. Whoops, I unselected them, and then delete these. And you're going to go ahead and Command R that so you get rid of that retimer if you already left it up. And what you're going to do with this, uh, these uh, gun symbols is you're going to shrink them. Like so. I'm going to shrink them down. I'd say to about... I'd say probably to one-tenth, about 10% each. That should do it. Let me see here. I'd say... Yeah, 10% or so is good to work with it. So we'll just go through manually and make these all 10%. <clears throat> It's always a good way to do it. And what you're going to do is you're going to get them all near the kill feed. So when you do this the super zooming we're about to do, you can work with that area only. And you're going to zoom in about 200%. So everything's all pixelated. And you're going to take one of them, uh, preferably one that's already kind of on the kill feed, like this one. And you're going to go ahead, and if you 
I think there's a hand tool you can move around. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your selector tool and select the clip, hit position, and you're going to go ahead and position the sniper to fit in the kill feed, which sometimes is a bit difficult, a bit tricky, but you get the hang of it over time. Not sure if that's perfect. We'll we'll get the other ones in there and we'll mess around with it once they're all in there. It takes a bit of time, a bit of effort, a bit of patience, but it's all worth it in the long run. Alright, so we got that one in there. For some reason I can't see it's probably down here. Yes it is. Okay. Get this one in there. They don't all have to be the same right off the start. Just get them into a workable position so you can start comparing sizes of each sniper. So, get them to line up barely with the kill feed. They don't need to be precise. They can be a little bit bigger. In fact, sometimes that helps proportionally. to make it look like it pops out better. Just want to space them all out evenly. You can see this one. I want to do a little sloppy job with this so it doesn't take as long for me. But you can really spend some time making sure it's right. Alright, it's not bad. You'll notice that the, the fourth kill up there is not there towards the end, which is fine. You could slow-mo that out a little bit more. And once you have those all good, uh, you might want to zoom out and make sure it looks right. That looks good. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select all of the clips, all of the, the sniper symbols, rather, and hit New Compound Clip, so now it becomes one comp composition. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into your effects, and you're going to go up to the All tab, and type in, like, Glow. And you're going to put a little bit of glow on it like a couple of those and you'll see it glows a little bit more maybe put a bit of dazzle on it make it shine a bit more and now you can see it glows a lot more uh, now of course of course you can mess around with this and position it a little bit better once it's in the composition and you can also turn down dazzle so it doesn't look as ridiculous <laughs> like that and you can really mess around with this. You can add any effect you want to it. You can add uh, like, an, like an old school effect, like a projector effect. You can add uh, like an earthquake effect so the feed shakes. Um, you can also motion track the feed to move around. Like if you wanted, I'll show you right now. Um, if you come to the beginning, trying to do that, you can actually uh, use keyframes to move around the feed. So you can do a position and scale. And what you can do is something along the lines of um, moving it to the center uh, you know generally actually no let's not do that there. You want to do this later. So what you're going to do is going to come out to maybe here and you're going to keyframe it again sorry I kind of made a mistake there but if you bring it out to the center just right about there roughly and you make it larger which obviously is going to be proportionally weird but you can mess around with it and this obviously is going to look really pixelated I'm starting to realize that but you see where I'm going with this you can you can like mess around with things like this you can do something along the lines of that, and now what'll happen is it'll just zoom out and move into the, uh, the the main display, and you can make it zoom out and fade out and, and all cool things, and make it like explode. I don't know. You, you can you can mess around with it. Basically, the point is is that you have a customizable kill feed that you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can do the same thing with the heads-up display. Um, if you see like your ammo down here, you can like <laughs> make your ammo zoom up. And another big one that a lot of people do in edits, this is kind of a whole other tutorial, is they'll take the score 
and they'll have it like zoom out and move past the character so it almost looks 3D. Um, that's very simple too. You just you know put a 100 there and have it zoom out and like get really big and move behind you. That's a whole other tutorial. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the kill feed glowing and modifying tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to do that really quick for all the Final Cut Pro editors out there who have no idea how to do that in Final Cut Pro without uh, masking. It's very simple as you can tell. And uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.